Welcome to the instructional video for the Vapor Flask version 3. Let's start with the battery doors which are located on the bottom of the device which are copper circles that are threaded. Your batteries which you will need two 18650s. I recommend the E-Fest positive to the front of the device insert it into the tube the cap then easily screws on with a coin or screwdriver that's all it is to it this is the device you can see you have an up and you have a down button in the front and your fire button on the side. Let's go ahead and look at the screen. Your display will show watts. It will show the ohm of your coil and the bottom right here you also have the temperature or voltage depending on what mode you are in there's a battery indica indicator on the side underneath of your atomizer you'll see your standard 510 connection which is also in copper and inside there it is adjustable with the use of a flathead screwdriver Let's put the atomizer back on and look at some of the menus. To lock the device, you will hit the fire button five times within two seconds. This locks your device five clicks in within two seconds to go back into the firing mode. Lock your device with five clicks by pressing the fire button and the down button at the same time. Holding it down will be into stealth mode. Hold it down until stealth mode is achieved. Unlock and as you fire you will not have lights. This feature is good for nighttime driving or any nighttime use where the light may come bothersome. To put it back into standard mode, you would also hit five times to lock it. Hold down the bottom and the fire button at the same time until normal mode is displayed. Unlock and you're ready to go again. You may also flop the screen by locking it five times, holding down the up arrow and the fire button, hold it down, left mode, wait, and switches to right mode, which flops your screen on the other side of the device, depending on which way you like to hold it, depending on which way you'd like to have it. To switch back, lock it five times to lock, press the up and fire button at the same times and hold, and we'll switch back to left mode. To achieve power lock mode, hold down the up and down arrows while it's unlocked. Holding this down, we'll put it into a power lock mode. Now you do not have to worry about changing your wattage unintentionally. The vapor flask comes with temperature protection. Let's go through the options. Providing you have built your coil with NI200 wire, which is nickel wire, you may use this option. To get to the temperature menu, Lock your device with five clicks. 
hold down the up and down arrows at the same time it'll tell you to continue to hold to change temp here's your temperature control menu your temperature target temperature will be displayed here you may increase or decrease the temperature by 10 degrees each click ranging from 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit to turn this feature off go above 600 degrees one click will turn this off this will revert back to watts and volts for your standard canthal wire or nickel chrome wire for this demonstration we will go ahead and set this to 450 degrees lock that in with one click and then five clicks to go back into regular mode at that point once you put on your atomizer and fire it's going to ask you if you have a new coil or to press up for the new coil and press down for the same old coil we're going to press up because this is a nickel coil as you can see now we have our wattage this is a base wattage that we start with of 35 watts your temperature will be on the bottom left corner 450 watts and your ohms is still at the top things you will notice in this mode your wattage will increase or decrease depending on the temperature of your coil so when you first start to fire you may see an increase in your wattage this is called preheat mode during the preheating the temperature will try to be achieved within a hundred degrees Fahrenheit then the wattage will lower itself and maintain itself to give you that perfect vape as you see protections on and the wattage will lower depending on how much it needs to maintain that temperature in this mode as your cotton dries out less juice will be in the cotton so as it dries out the machine will know and will revert lower and lower on your watts resulting in the non-burning of your cotton your vapor flask will automatically check and display the following warnings you have a check atomizer check make sure your atomizer is connected to your device you have a battery low meaning your battery is below four volts and needs to be charged atomizer open will pop up if you have uh, connective problems or your coil is broken you have an atomizer short if you're having a short in your atomizer you also have an atomizer lot too low and too high your atomizers resistance is either too low or too high for the device the device also has protection against short circuits protection of the battery opposites if you put in your batteries in the wrong spots it will let you know and prevent damage to the device and overheat protection and the message will come up uh, too hot if your motherboard becomes too this hot. concludes the instructional video for the vapor flask version 3 clone I hope you found this video informative and have many hours enjoying your new vape.